Welcome one and all, whoever may be watching this, this will be part 14 of Siberia the World Before. I have finally read up on this whole series, so this is the fourth game in a series which have all built on top of each other. So like, bless Kate here, she ended up getting captured and put in a salt mine at the end of the third game, which is obviously where we've picked up from, at least as far as her story is concerned. <laughs> Ah, context. Bless. Um, I also read that this game is sort of roughly 13 hours long, which means I might have to split it because the- oh, you're not going to go through the door? <laughs> Because there is a game coming out at the beginning of September that I would like to play, so... Demoiselle Lenny told me the Music Academy is near the Musical Square. Maybe Frau Wagner can tell me more. So I'll just kind of see how things go. Obviously I'm uploading two videos a day, so that does make it a little bit, uh, quicker. Oh, hello, M Ah, oh, Miss Walker. Did you sleep all right? Uh, fine, thanks. Now, is there anything you need? I'd like to go to the Music Academy. Can you tell me how to get there? You just need to take the tram northbound to the Musical Square. Is there anything I should know about the Academy? To tell the truth, it's a little glum nowadays. Especially when you think it was once the jewel of the town. The students came from all over the world to perform on the musical square, you know. <sighs> Pity. It's since lost its panache of old through lack of students and means. Everything seems to link the person I'm looking for with the Second World War and the rise of the Brown Shadow. Terrible times were those, my dear. Especially when Wagen was occupied after the annexation of Ostertal. Thank God I was born just after the liberation. I see. But I guess you had to grow up with the after effects of those events. Oh yes, dear. There was a kind of conspiracy of silence where everyone suspected each other, even their close friends. Did any of them collaborate with the enemy? And if so, was it through like-mindedness or simple cowardice? Were they responsible in one way or another for the arrest or death of a family member? I must have been awful. A terrible time, really. Well, the person I'm looking for is from the same generation. <sighs> You'll just have to hope she managed to survive the madness then. I went to the Zilberspiegel Refuge yesterday. Oh, magnificent. I won't disagree with that, Miss Walker. Those mountains are the pride of the town, just like old Lenny. Lenny is highly respected in Wagen because she was a resistance fighter during World War II, right? Well, I heard about it when I was at the refuge. Lenny Renner might be a grumpy old spinster, but to us she's still a heroine. <laughs> Pity the same can't be said of her father, though. Still, everyone has their cross to bear, as they say. What do you mean? No point gossip-mongering. The war was a dark time in Wagen for everyone, see? Best not stir up old memories. Well, I, I guess I should get going. Thank you for your time, Frau Wagner. Feel free to ask if you have any more questions. Wait, so Lenny's father was Gustav, no? He seemed like a nice guy. I wonder what happened to him.
Good to know that my man is still standing on his balcony there admiring her bike. It's like a whole two days he's been there now. Introspect. Okay, I'll have to figure out where to do that. So, I'm assuming this is the same area where we started off with Dana. Dana. Hmm. Looks like this district has been more modernized than the antique shop district. Yes, because it's where all the cool people hang out. Cool people have to have modern stuff. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for anywhere that I could do some introspecting. Oh, and we can go down the little um, ghetto alleyway situation and see the little swan thing. Oh, future and past coming together. I wonder if that's where we'll do the introspecting. emotion is most unreasonable, Kate Walker. I do hope you don't plan such profusion every time I change bodies. It's just that I've been worrying about you. Where were you, Oscar? Well, the mechanical instinct of my host took me for a ride, all across town. It took me the whole night to tame it, and that's when I bumped into those little rascals. <laughs> yeah, lucky I was in the area, huh? Quite. So, Kate Walker, what has happened since we parted at the Balaton River? Maybe we should just sit down for a second, Oscar. This this might take a while. And that's when Demoiselle Lenny gave me the address of the Music Academy in this neighborhood. I see, Kate Walker. You must think I'm crazy, huh? Running after that girl, Dana, who must have died ages ago. Well, Kate Walker, you know I have difficulty understanding illogical thought patterns. But in the end, what I do understand is that you need to find her. 
Is that correct, Kate Walker? Yes, that is correct, Oscar. I'm glad you're taking it so well. I don't see any fundamental difference between crossing Europe in search of mammoths, traveling on ostriches in an irradiated zone, or following your double. These are not things an automaton such as I take into consideration. Any other thoughts, Oscar? Well, I guess I could ask you where we are heading, but truth be told, it doesn't really matter. I will follow you wherever you lead, and for as long as you require my services, Kate Walker. That's what an automaton does. Thank you, Oscar. Oh dear, I hope you're not going to become physical, are you? No, I was just going to give you a pat on the back. I would rather you refrain from having such thoughts. I am not a dog, you know. Whatever next. Anyway, we'd better get going, Oscar. And you'd better keep out of sight. <sighs> oh dear, I don't suppose I have any choice. I am so unbelievably excited to have a little armadillo type companion. I'm so glad he's back. Is it really necessary for me to be shut up in here, Kate Walker? Sorry, Oscar, but I don't want to run the risk of losing you again. So I'm assuming a lot of the references there had to do with the previous games and I'm just thinking I should do this like I did with Harry Potter. Start with the last game or book and then just read them backwards. <laughs> so I'll play the third one and then the second one and then the first first one and I'll just have all these backwards revelations. Bullet holes. The brown shadow must have shot people dead here. How horrible. Victims of the genocide committed by the fascists during the Second World War. Oh, so many deaths. I hope Dana made it through. Alright, but we cannot introspect here. I uh, have no interest. Let's keep going. <laughs> I am a single-minded individual. I have been told that I must introspect, and that is what I must do. No, bless. Do it, touch it. It's your past. I don't quite know what was happening there. It's almost like she wanted to sneeze. Okay, I still haven't seen anywhere to introspect though. know how important it is to actually do any kind of introspection. I mean like I'm sure in real life it is quite important but in this game <laughs> how necessary is it for me to hit all these introspection um, quest things. An automaton musician. Looks exactly like Hans's style. Like at Bohrstadt.
Okay, so I think the academy was here, because there's a door that I can open, or a building that I can go into. So I shall walk around, I guess. Uh, no, come back. Go up. It was hidden by the plant. <laughs> Ah, nice. Let's do it. Let's contemplate life. I only know Dana as a waitress at the refuge, and yet everything seems to fit with her here. Not hard to imagine her coming here to the Music Academy to study. And who knows? Maybe Leon waited for her outside one day as a surprise after returning from his Baltayar expedition. Nothing quite like a little bit of speculation. Strange. S strange? Okay, sure, if you say so. Due to the forthcoming computerization of the mechanical orchestra, the musical square playing this piano is strictly forbidden until further notice. Oh, I can't sad. open it like this. It looks like it's been mechanically sealed. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to open it directly. Okay, I'm getting the hint, so we need to indirectly open it. <laughs> Either that or get like a hammer and chisel and pry it open. Okay, we'll just go check out what's happening here. Then we'll figure out this whole music academy situation, because it looked like it was actually behind me, or at least that's where Leon and wow. what's her face was. Pity I don't have time for some sightseeing. That is pretty spectacular. Run, 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 run. <laughs> you go, girl. You got this. Okay, so there's two places we can enter, I guess. Okay, pursuant to the provisions of RID numbers, you are hereby given oh, an eviction notice. Your failure to pay rent to and in arrears when demanded. Uh, okay, so they just couldn't pay rent, whoever, whoever was here. All these letters. They look like letters of formal notice. They probably haven't been paying the bills for some time. Holy dooly, read when you want to on your own time. <laughs> oh no, come look, where are you going? Oh, just all over the place. So that's the famous Wagen Music Academy? It's not what I was expecting. Is that box important? Is that the hint that I'm getting? Let's find a ladder. Oh, right there. I found it. Guten Tag! What now? If you're from the council, you can come back when I'm not so busy. Sorry, you startled me. 
So, now what do you want, Council Minion? I'm not from the Council. I'm, I'm just a visitor here. I came because I was hoping to look at the file of a student from the 1930s. Oh. I'm... I'm sorry. I, uh... It's just that I haven't time for digging up old files from 70 years ago. I have way too much to do here, you understand. I can tell you're a little overwhelmed. Where's the rest of the staff? Or, or maybe a student could show me. You are standing in front of the rector and the only employee of this academy. My name is Maximilian Mahler, and it falls upon me to manage everything on the premises. The maintenance, the archiving, and the lot before we close next month. So, if you don't mind... I'm very sorry to hear that the Academy is closing, and I can see you're extremely busy, but I've come such a long way to see it. I'd be so grateful if you could locate it. It's really important to me. And so is this place important to me, too. And I would love to hear the mechanical orchestra Play one last time before the Academy closes. But, alas, I can't, can I? Uh, unless, uh... Unless what? Well, um, you know. All right, then. So if I get the mechanical orchestra going, you'll get me that file, right? Oh, uh, of course, Fraulein. Of course. Okay, I'll give it a try. Believe it or not, I have seen mechanisms like the one on the square before. Well, in that case, I promise to give you the file in return for your services. <laughs> Thanks. But I must warn you that the square has undergone some transformations over the years, and some parts of the mechanism may be difficult to get to. Don't worry, I'll make myself thin and slide between the cracks. You'll find some of them scattered around the square, and some of the others you'll find in the clock tower. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second... What are you... Now, uh... What is the name of that student you're interested in? Rose. Dana Rose. And what were the years she attended our illustrious academy? In the 30s. 1937, to be precise. Oh. And here it is. And here you will find the annual inspection reports of the mechanisms by Frau Beckman. Frau Beckman? She was the rectoress of the academy during the years you spoke of. These are from 1937. <laughs> you see, I have a marvelous memory regarding archives. <laughs> this is why I have chosen Frau Beckman's, because there's something in here regarding that Edna Drose you spoke of. Dana. Dana Rose. Uh, quite. You will also find some sheet music with annotations. This is the Hymn of Bargain, which you must play on the piano on the square in order to activate the Orchestra of Automations. Once you have fixed the mechanisms, of course. <laughs> All right, then. Here you go. What are you waiting for? Um, okay. Sometimes it's really hard to say... This sheet music corresponds to the piano part for the hymn of Wagen. Someone's added annotations. They could help me play the hymn on the piano on the square, like the rector asked me to. Right. Hmm. I wonder what it's supposed to represent. Oh, so this is something to do with the schematics, okay. The report that the rectoress of the academy filled in with the help of Dana back in the 30s. According to the present rector, I should find all the information I need to repair the mechanisms on the square.
Music Academy Inspection Report, October 12, 1937. Today, I was due to inspect the musical mechanisms that enable students to give a public display of their talent and enable us to showcase the quality of our teaching to the people of our beautiful town.